Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm visiting some family here in New York and I'm right by JFK Airport. You see the airplanes landing over there. I mean, the airport's way over there, just past my view. So I'm in this park over here. This used to be a landfill that they've now converted into a park. And one of the things that, I th that I'm doing is I'm range estimating the airplanes as they're flying over my position here. So I don't have any uh, range estimating tools. What I'm doing is I'm using my finger here because a while ago I did a video um, where I was basically range estimating trees on the length of my finger. And what I figured out is that at 500 yards, a 75 foot tree, which is my average tree line, is the length of this segment here of my finger, right? So from tip to that knuckle there. So here we go. I got an airplane overhead here. I know like a 747 would be about 240 feet long. A Dreamliner, which is a 787, is 220. This one looks like it's smaller. This one's probably about 150 feet, 175 feet. Um, so this one is about the size of my knuckle here, right? All right, so it's about, like I said, that's about 150 feet long. I'm estimating that, you know, what that plane is over there, 150 to 175. Um, so, uh, so basically that's twice, that's twice the 75 feet, twice the length of the 75 foot trees uh, that I had uh, been using. So I put that at 1,000 yards or somewhere between 1,000 and 1,200 yards away from my position right and this you know flying diagonally here right uh so kind of a fun thing to do um um here's another one coming in i'm gonna pause the camera wait for it to get a little bit closer and we'll we'll, we'll confirm that we'll see what kind of a, get an idea of how big that airplane is and try to uh confirm that we're about a thousand or twelve hundred yards uh, i'm gonna pause you for a second all right, here we go this one looks like it's bigger this is probably about 220 this is probably, i think it's a dreamliner 787 so let's extend all the way over here so that is just past my finger just past, past this segment of my finger here um so yeah it's somewhere between as they're flying over my position here they're coming in somewhere between uh, a thousand and twelve hundred yards so um it's just interesting exercise i just kind of thought of this on the spot i was just kind of curious now you can see like there's one that's taking off over there right that one's like i try to measure that's it, like tiny it's like tiny like 132nd of my finger or something so that's like really far it's a couple of miles away so you know when you're out in an open area like this you know especially to a guy that's used to being in the woods uh space like really changes right your, your concept of how far things away um you know it gets really distorted right so if you're used to being in an open area like a desert or in a watery area like this you know your concept of how a distance is very different than if you're in the wooded area where basically you're living inside of trees so it's just something that you gotta you know you gotta practice and you gotta you, you gotta think of a way to um you, know, you gotta find points of references that, that you know so like cars airplanes you know things with known sizes that you can use uh for range estimating oh here's another one Oh, this one looks like a big one. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it looks. This also, also should be about two, about 200. Two big engines under that thing. Let's see about. I would put that about 220. So yeah, that's just past my knuckle. So that's basically just going just past my knuckle over there. So yeah, these things from my position, um, these things are flying. These are about. So probably closer to 12. You know, 1, to 1,200 yards. Probably closer to 1,200 yards when they're flying over my position over here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you all soon. Hey everyone, um, I wanted to add one more thing, which was really kind of like the thing I was like really getting at, or trying to get at. So, as far as range estimating using airplanes, okay? Now mind you, this doesn't necessarily mean that we're shooting at the airplane. Uh, you might be shooting at the bad guy that's hiding underneath the airplane. But if you've got like a, like a roughly like a small airplane that's about 150 to 175 uh, feet long, right? Uh, which is basically gonna have something like maybe, uh, you know, somewhere between 15 to 20 windows. The airplane would have to measure from your tip up to this knuckle right here, right? Right, from that tip up to this knuckle right here in order for it to be in your range, okay? 
Now, if it's a larger airplane, right, something like with 40 windows, like a 747 or, uh, or a 787, basically it's going to be the length of your entire finger from this tip all the way up to here, right? The entire length of your finger, right, is, is, is what is going to take uh, for that airplane to be within the range of your 556, which basically to put it to put it within 600 yards, right? Because with with good ammunition, I can pretty much get out to 550 yards. You know, mind you, yeah, sure. If, I mean, past uh, um, you know past 300 yards, a lot of it might just be suppression fire. But that's what I was really trying to get at today. Um, if the airplane, because basically, if your airplane is just coming from there to there. I mean, you know it's like definitely out of your range. It's going to be something like, you know, 1,000 to 1,200 uh, yards away. And from there to there, okay, um, if it's a small airplane, right, that has something like like uh, up to 20 windows, which you can you can measure, right, you can count the windows, right, um, uh, you know, uh, that's going to be at the edge of your range. And if it's a larger 747 or 787, um, it's going to basically be the entire finger right you're going to measure it against and again you're going to you know those are usually easy to tell those got like something like 40 windows okay so hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll talk to you all soon